Hey guys, it's Han. So today I kind of wanted to make a video talking about my schedule because I am going into my third year at UBC um, in biomedical engineering. So I'm gonna open up my SSC and show you guys my timetable and then we'll kind of like go through each course and see what I'm taking. And just a side note, I'm very strongly considering dropping definitely a few courses. Currently, I think I'm registered for around like 36 or 38 credits. I am currently working part-time at a job and then I also just got a work learn to be a vlogger so like a vlogger position which will be like five to ten hours a week the year after COVID I kind of want to enjoy it and really like do a lot of extracurriculars and like enrich my uni life and get experience that way this year rather than through courses okay I'm gonna move to the side like oh my god this filming setup stop so this here is um my first term so far, so I'm taking Chem 233, and also I split my second year. So this year is kind of like a split between third and second year. So Chem 233, and then we have CLST, which is um, one of my elective options. So I am registered for two electives because I want to like drop them and just pick which one I want to take later. And then I'm also registered for a wait list. So I'll get into those later. They're really fun and fresh. Um, Wednesdays are horrible. Like this is literally like 8 a.m. to, I can never read this. One, two, three, four, five, literally eight to 6 p.m. Okay, so now that we've gone through the overview, I'm gonna go into the actual course. So this is a fat, like she's big. There's a lot of people in this course. So Chem 233, 108, it's organic chemistry for the biological sciences. So reactions and properties of carbonyl compounds, carbs, amino acids, nucleic acids. And so this, from what I've heard, is essentially just an organic chemistry class. So like the whole course is organic chem. So this is a science course. So people who are in like biochemistry, bio, possibly chem, all that kind of stuff, take this. But then as you can see here, it's also for BMIG. So we have little cute little reserved seats in this section because we take this in third year. But then science kids take this in second year. Um, yeah, and apparently this course is very difficult. Like looking it up on Reddit, I'm like, Ugh. Go back to this timetable here. I'll kind of show you that is one of the courses that I was thinking of dropping, which would mean I also would have to drop this lab. The chem department is just very difficult. Like it's not even the content that's too, too super hard. It's the way they test. They're just super strict, a little unforgiving. So I kind of like, cause I haven't written an in-person exam in basically a year and a half. So my plan was to drop this chem just because chem is, the chem department exams are just always so stressful. And like, I just kind of want to get used to being in person, being back to school, like, you know, not open book exams before I take that course. I think if I took it first term, it would be really stressful. So I'm currently registered for this. It's the technical terms of medicine and biological sciences. So I thought this would be a cool elective because it says it's for people who are in like life sciences. So that's kind of people who want to go into like med school, you know, medical terms and stuff like that. And you learn about basically the origins of it. So I thought this would be a cool course. The only thing is, is that you can see there is like a tutorial. So that's kind of like, I guess, extra stuff you have to do. The other thing I'm registered in though, which is not showing here, this Greek and Latin words of English. So it's a very similar course, but just based off of what I read on like Reddit and stuff, I think it's a little bit easier because it's not as like intense as the other one. Yeah, I'm just like not totally sure which one I want to take. Let me know which one you guys think is more interesting. Okay, so now let's move on to the waitlist elective kind of option that I'm keeping open for my elective this year. And that is this one, which I wanna take so bad. So it's history development and social function of like spectacles. So like gladiators and games and stuff like that. And um, Helen's friend took it and said it was really interesting and like very light. Okay, moving on to CPEN. So in biomedical engineering, you have a choice of taking CPEN 221 or 223. 221 is very difficult. Like people who are in computer engineering as their program find this course very difficult and coding doesn't really come naturally to me. So I decided it's probably not worth me taking. I was actually in it for a week last year and dropped it. Um, so the only thing is if I don't take that, then I can't go into the informatics or systems and signals stream within BMEG. So moving on to Tuesday. So Tuesday starts with BMEG 230. 
people just love this class and the prof is amazing so it's just biomechanics so basically this course is pretty heavy there's um the two at like three hour lectures and then there's um the here i don't know if you can see this this is i believe the lab and then this is the tutorial and they're both three hours and so this is alternating every week but yeah so let's move on to second term now so this is a lot more condensed you can see like the comparison um so first we have stats so this is just elementary statistics this is again this is a huge course 395 students because like art science engineering everyone takes this course and then we have biochemistry 202 so this is also a science course biochemistry 202 but they have an entire section as you can see here it says for it's an stt which is only for third year biomedical engineering students so everyone in my class will be in my program which is kind of fun then we have chibi 251 and i've heard that this course is really difficult um and i'm pretty sure like historically basically it's like your whole grade is three exams and it's, yeah, it's just fluid mechanics, momentum transfer. I'm not super interested in this kind of stuff. Um, and then we have BMAG 201, which is the Biomedical Engineering Communications credit. Um, again, like kind of chill, not super difficult. So this is the class I'm most excited for. So this is my, my favorite prof, Professor Poffin. He taught BMAG 210, which I took last year, and he's an amazing prof. The grad requirement, so you have to take grad requirements to graduate with engineering at UBC. So that's like, you know, impact of engineering on society, on the environment, on the economy. So this is the third year studio course, which I'm excited for. I really like studio courses. So basically you'll have like a topic. Um, so in my second year studio course, we did like, you had to make a remodeled Pfizer shipping container. The first three ones are like the cardboard chair and the claw. So it'll be something to do biomedical engineering and you go in teams and you make something so yeah basically if i got rid of stats it would lighten up the load a lot oh, yeah fridays would be awesome without stats because it would just be 9 to 12. oh yeah just like mondays yeah so i think that's my plan if i'm gonna drop it i will be dropping statistics and i will also be dropping chem 233 and chem 235 and also in second term, I am going to be applying to jobs. So that's like the equivalent amount of time to a three credit course. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you'd like me to do um, like a first year overview of like the first year timetables and my thoughts on that. And I'm also going to be posting a school supply shopping slash haul, back to school haul soon. So keep an eye out for that. I will see you in my next video. Bye.